Meantime, the deadline to gather signatures for the recall campaign of George Gascon is tomorrow, and the campaign manager tells me he is optimistic. The campaign says it has gathered well over the nearly 567,000 signatures required to get the recall on an upcoming ballot. The group will deliver the signatures to the Los Angeles County Registrar voters tomorrow at 2 p.m. Then those signatures need to be processed and validated before the results are announced. One of Gascon's biggest critics is one of his very own deputy DAs. That is John McKenney. You see him there. He joins me live. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you, Marla. It's great to see you. You're holding it down without Alex tonight, I see. It's, it's a tall order, just like him. As you know, I think you know he's six foot five. I do my best. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, you have been a big part of the recall effort, John, lending your time on the weekends to collect signatures, working really hand in hand with the campaign. Are you confident you have enough signatures? Yes, I, I'm confident because I believe in this recall committee. Uh, they've worked really hard over the last five months, and they learned some things from the first recall effort as well. Uh, I'm confident in all of the, the hundreds, possibly thousands of volunteers who went out every weekend to collect signatures. And uh, from what I've been told, they have more than enough signatures to qualify Mr. Gascon for a recall election. So that's yeah. great news. Yeah, when I spoke to the campaign manager today, he did say that they're estimating essentially about 750,000. So the question is, well, is that enough cushion? Because a lot of them will be invalidated, and it's all about the validation of these signatures. In fact, he issued this statement. I want to read this to you and get your response to, to this. Uh, the campaign manager for the recall says, for 160 days, the uncompromising dedication from victims, victims' families, DDAs, law enforcement, and Angelinos across the county have worked tirelessly to ensure the recall of DA George Gascon reached the threshold of signatures required by the registrar of voters to qualify. Angelinos have shown that enough is enough when it comes to DA George Gascon's pro-criminal policies and the horrific environment that it has created. You just mentioned that you learned the campaign to recall Gascon learned from the initial attempt to recall him. What's different now? Well, I think they had a much better organization the second time around. Uh, they raised money before they started the recall process the second time around. Gascon stayed in office a little longer, and the public could start to see the effects of some of his disastrous policies. Uh, that was hard to see it in the first months after he took office. So I think all of those things came together for a robust and successful recall campaign, and, and we'll see how it all turns out. You're right. Um, even though they collected a historic number of signatures and that alone is cause for celebration, there's a validation process that's very technical. And, and, and I think it'll be close, uh, even with the 750,000 uh, number of signatures, if that's what it is. I, I think it's somewhere going to be somewhere between 725 and 750. Uh, you know, maybe 15, 20, 25 percent of those will not be deemed valid. We don't know yet, but there's reason for cautious optimism for sure. Well, we did reach out to Gascon, of course, for comment regarding tomorrow's uh, deadline. Essentially, his team, they didn't issue a formal statement that they just simply said that they're monitoring it, of course, and they're just waiting to see how many signatures are actually validated. Uh, you know, he was voted in. John, yes, uh, and sure. why not wait this through and let his term play out? Well, you know, uh, Marla, I think the recall is, is one of the most important uh, and treasured part of our democracies because it gives the public an opportunity to fire a politician who's not doing his job. And in George Gascon, we're not talking about a politician who's just failing. He's failing uh, miserably. And when your job is as important as his, he is the most consequential elected official in local government anywhere in the country because he has jurisdiction over more than 10 million people every day, and he's responsible for our safety. Uh, and that is not taken seriously by him. He does not prioritize public safety. He does not prioritize supporting victims. And uh, a, a rapidly growing majority of, of Los Angelinos see that, they understand that, and they know how dangerous it is to keep somebody like that in office for another two and a half years. That's why we can't wait. Well, you just said yourself that it's, it's likely going to be close. So if this doesn't pan out, 
this second attempt doesn't pan out, how do you see yourself moving forward uh, within the DA's office? Uh, given that uh, I know it's an icy relationship, to say the least, uh, you, you don't talk much to the DA himself anyway, right? Well, he's never called on me for a conversation, uh, so, so the answer is no. Uh, but this is what I think we do. If this recall effort is unsuccessful, then we move forward uh, doing the best we can to eke out as much justice as we can every day. The DA is under tremendous pressure because of this recall campaign. He has been walking back some of his policies, albeit very slowly and, and in a measured way and in, in a complex and complicated way. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it at least the pressure that we've placed on him has at least allowed us to do a little bit more justice than we were able to do in that first year that he was in office. It's not enough, though. It's clearly not enough. And, and you, you had a story on earlier tonight about him bringing murder charges in the case of the uh, overdosed uh, victims who I believe were also sexually assaulted. Uh, that I don't think would have happened without this recall effort. Uh, and, and so, you know, the public shouldn't have to have, have a DA who only acts in the public interest when he's forced to. So you think he was pressured? Yeah, right. Pressured to do that. Okay, well, if, whether it's in, in the recall setting or otherwise, are we going to see John McKinney on the ballot one of these days for L.A. County DA? Well, I'll tell you, uh, if this recall is successful and an election is called, I do intend to run a, a vigorous, hard-fought campaign to restore public safety to Los Angeles and spread proportional justice throughout Los Angeles County. Um, I, I think I have the experience to do it. I've been encouraged to do it by many of my colleagues, and I'm ready to take up that challenge if it comes. Deputy DA uh, John McKinney, uh, thank you so much for your time uh, tonight, and we'll look forward to what happens in the coming days. I know it's going to take some time, if not weeks, to get that, uh, those results finalized. Thanks. Yes. Thank you, Marla. Always a pleasure.